Oh, here's your office. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, Dennis liked it. Until he didn't. I'll check on you later. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Huh. New guy? Uh, yes, hi, I'm Mitchell Pritchett. Dan, hope you don't have any plans for Sunday night. Dan, okay. what are you still doing here? Go! Sorry. Huh. Right. That way. Ah. <laughs> In law school, Wendy Kirk could be a little intense. I always hoped that she'd soften over time, but some people go the other way. This place is a nightmare. The conditions are deplorable, and no one should have to suffer this kind of abuse on a daily basis. What kind of tyrant has such utter disregard for human life? I can't do this. You have to. Wendy needs to hear it. Yeah, but I'm nervous. You Mitchell, know I mean? yes, hi. I just had a great idea. Mm -hmm. I think you would be the perfect person to groom Rex. Excuse me? I just think he'd really respond to someone like you, you know? You, you don't mind, right? Uh, uh, no, no, not at all. Great, thanks. Will you go over and introduce yourself? In intro okay, yeah. okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Hello, I'm Mitchell. And apparently, this is my job now. Rex, how's it going with Mitchell? The new guy? I haven't met him yet. That's weird. I asked him to introduce himself. Um, hey, has anybody seen my dog? Pixie! Oh, there she is. Wow! Okay, Wendy, I'm sorry. I have something to say to you, something that everybody else here is afraid to say. Now, I know you're fighting the good fight, but that is no excuse for the way you treat people. That actually might be one of the reasons that you have no personal life, because who wants to come home to a cold, emotionless thug? What are you talking about? I am an experienced, respected attorney, and on my first day, you asked me to bathe Rex. I'm not comfortable with that. And I'm not comfortable with that, but I did it. Okay, that's Pixie. This is Rex, the intern I asked you to groom. And that is my mistake, and I own that, but that is still no excuse for the way that you torrent him for the outfit he wore yesterday. I was talking about the outfit he picked out for me. Apparently, I have the one gay intern in the world with absolutely no fashion sense. I was unaware of, of this dynamic, but I, I'm, I'm not alone here, all right? There are people in this room who feel that you are, a, how do we say it? Um, you are a tyrant with no regard for human life. That sounds like my summation for the slumlord case. Oh, hey, you finished it? It's wonderful, but he's nervous to show you. Why are you so hard on yourself? Okay, but what, what, what about you making us work on Sunday? Is that a night of my barbecue? Dan! What are you still doing here? It's your anniversary. Go home. Oh, God, this isn't happening. No, no, she's, she's crazy. I mean, I saw her attack the vending machine. That's the only way it works since Dennis broke it. Dennis is the guy whose office I took? Yeah, he was the machine's best customer until he started running. One day he said he's got to get out or he would die. Okay, okay. Wait. <laughs>